says we're live. Welcome to my basement, everybody. Your basement's very cozy. It's very cozy. It's actually my. Um, uh, is this your eye tone? <laughs> this is this is uh, my hotel suite right here, which oh. is really nice. You're on our couch in our hotel suite. This is uh, uh, EA flew me down to take a look at uh, Star Wars Battlefront Two, which I can't talk about at all right now. But uh, must be nice. I'm in the area. I didn't get a call, so <laughs> thought we were uh, friends. <laughs> But we, we have a nice big hotel room. Hopefully the uh, the internet is uh, uh, fast enough that you can see us and, and hear us. Yeah, look, we're right there. That's so oh, crazy. This is the iTone. This, this is the newest this Apple is product. Ama- That's oh, the this biggest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> this is the, I- this is the iPhone Pro. XS. The, uh, actually, it's, it's a little too excessive. I love this thing for uh, reading comic books. I read comic because books. Because it's all, bigger all than all actual comic books. Well, it's amazing. It's yeah, look at the size of it's, that. It's thing. incredible. Oops, I, I clicked on. Now we're watching else. Ryan Gosling. <laughs> Good old RG. There, there. That's us. Let's see if anybody. Let's see if anybody actually uh, is here to say hello. We've got a few. Yes, hello. I feel like they're in. Uh, hello. Doi Oyan, how you doing? Or Doi Owan. Sorry, I gotta say it right. Soren Paulin, Eddie Mix C eighteen, Sean Lysak, uh, Doctor Ain X X X X. There we go. We're this just looking is at Vic's giant eye. <laughs> this is uh, this is the uh, it's the iPad Pro. I haven't actually reviewed this thing. Should I review it right now? Yeah, please. Tell, okay. Tell me all about uh, this, this. is, is this is a, this is like a, a, a throwback thing. <laughs> like you and Vic or you and Ben reviewed your MacBook Pro way back <laughs> in the day, and he was just like, "Well, tell me about it, Vic." Eight out of ten. <laughs> so please, let's review your <laughs> iMac, whatever uh, this thing is. Well, I didn't. Uh, this is the second iteration of the twelve-inch iPad Pro. I okay. didn't get it the first time. You cause, waited because I had the. Uh, I had the Air 2, which was a great iPad, um, but I looked at it with great envy because I had some friends that had the thing, especially sure. I have some big comic nerd friends out there, and they watch, they, they read tons of comic books, and you can actually watch movies and all kinds of other stuff on this thing too, of course, all but the, the comic books is what made me want to go for this. So yeah. if you got this thing with Comixology or the Marvel Unlimited app, or, and there's tons of great apps out there right now that uh, let you serve up the comics, it's absolutely incredible. It is very nice. I mean, I still yeah. have the iPad Mini you gave us as a Christmas present yep. from like 2012. Yep. It doesn't. Apple doesn't support it anymore, but damn it, I still love it. <laughs> they made some. I mean, that was the biggest problem with the iPads. It's like I didn't buy any new iPads for ages because they were so good. You yeah. know, the the I had iPad. The first one. I had the first Mini. Yeah. And now I have. Now my phone is almost the size of an iPad. Yeah. So I'm almost there. They were totally eating into their own future profits on these things. They they were not selling. But this is solid. It's an indulgence because it's very expensive. Yeah. Uh, but I wanted the big screen. It also works with the pencil so you can color and draw and do, co- uh, you know, basically it's the stylus from Apple. And I bought one of those. I hardly ever use it. But yeah. I, I, I looked at this as um, – Uh, A bit of a treat for this year, but mostly for the comic books, which I read with my daughter all the time. She loves the My Little Pony comic line. I can tell you tons about My Little Pony comic books. Uh, You're a brony. Is I guess that's that's the term, right? Yeah, brony. I guess I am. I'm I'm a well, I'm a I'm a dad. You can be a jabroni if you were the Rock. Can you be a dad brony? Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm a dad brony. A dad brony. Yeah. Um, I I can't remember all of the names, but uh, Starlight. uh, You know them. Well, the, there's uh, <laughs> Celestia, Princess Celestia, and uh, and Twilight Sparkle. Rainbow Dash is my favorite. She's oh, yeah. she's got a bit uh, of an attitude. And a solid Mario Kart game. And a solid Mario Kart game. Yeah, Mario Kart Rainbow. Oh, Dash. yeah, Rainbow. Yeah, that's right. Yes. All right. Sorry. So I got that, and uh, I nine love, out of ten. I love this thing. <laughs> I um, I am worried about it breaking, though. It does look very breakable. Right. It does look like, like it's I, I I get worried about dropping just the iPhone. Yeah. I'm like, oh! With that thing you drop, there's no chance of survival. Yeah, and I feel like if I dropped my phone on the screen or if I hit the screen wrong. I, or no. you're reading your comics late at night over your head and you just <laughs> drop it on your face. Th- thankfully, that hasn't happened, so there hasn't been any issues that way. But I do I do love this thing. I didn't know that we were going to be talking about it, but uh, I have not reviewed it. Nine out of ten. So there it is. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I, I do it. love it. It's, it's gorgeous, and the screen's amazing, and it's like you – it's like you literally are walking around with a TV. <laughs> it's literally weird because I'm watching us. We're there. Uh, there we're we right are. there. It's so good. This is uh, this is hotel Wi-Fi actually coming through. But we're in the Bay Area, so if there's ever going to be hotel Wi-Fi that's going to work Seb out, Seb says okay. our mics are a little too hard to hear. Oh, they're too hard to hear. Oh, that's good. Okay. 
Uh, Adrian, what is up? Sorry if you can't hear us. We're in a hotel room, and there might be neighbors. Yes. Is it too quiet? What's the deal? Is it just too quiet? Does it need to be really close to my face? Because if it's really close, it sounds like this. Is that better? Is that better? I mean, we, we are we are plugged into – no, nothing wrong. Okay. Nothing wrong. All right, good. It's good. Uh, better. It's better if we talk or we sound fine. Okay, okay great. It's good. Thank you. This, this is all a big experiment. We just – Basically, I'm running this out of my iPhone right now with an adapter thing. We are in the future. So uh, there used to be a giant camera setup shooting on Blu-ray film yeah. or maybe a beta tape. Yeah, we used to have blue uh, Blu-ray discs. Yeah. yeah now Before it's that was betas. That phone came out of my pocket and I set it up and plugged something in that lets us <laughs> plug our mics in and we are live. This is amazing. There it is. There we are. It doesn't. And here we are. It's. It doesn't look incredible, but if we had a fern, it would look incredible. It does. You know, we need a little bit of this. We need. Oh yeah, you're just gonna cut a little, little bit, bit closer. Romance. Just get a little bit of closer. Yeah, I like that Ghostbuster shirt. Like it's very retro. Yeah, I love it. It's Shout very out cool. Shout to Loot Crate. Thank you. All right, so we got uh, we got uh, Metallic Hawk in here. Big D's 314 Farscape. Big D's. Um, we've got Raiden 101. Metallic uh, Hawk. Seb Jimenez. How how you guys doing? How's everybody doing? This is so cool that you just jumped in. I didn't even tweet this out or we didn't even plan anything but no. we, uh, we just said let's sit no down prep whatsoever let's Vic, just Vic's do like it. you want to start talking I'm like what are we even talking hey i like your classic jordans i'm going to give those in that other cup these are those the are uh, awesome. these are the originals they, they recently i i had those back in the day i had the, the original originals you still have them because they're probably worth a nice chunk of change i, I don't uh, i i used it's to okay because nike releases like a new pair of the same shoes yeah every year i used to wear those in high school and people thought i was just so wacky they were you very are pretty cool. zany. They were. Um, <laughs> you got to get the new 32s, though. The new 32s are stylish. They look like they're from the future. They're very cool looking. So if anybody at Nike or Jordan, Team Jordan, wants to supply me with shoes, there I've got a go. closet full of your shoes already. Feel free to hit me up on Twitter, and I will respond to you with a yes. Big D's 314 says, good to see you. Isn't it great to see him? Thank we, you, Big D's. We, uh, we've been chatting back and forth over the, uh, the, the texts. Internet. The internet, like you do. And uh, we just said, look, we just got to start doing more things together. And so last week was our first uh, Vic's Basement in a while. And then I said I was coming down here uh, to check out this game. Don't start undressing me. <laughs> Let's wait till the cameras are <laughs> off. And then I said, why don't we review Call of Duty? Because we both spent all weekend playing it. Sure. And we have reviewed it. And the review it's will be soon. up. Uh, but it's out there. Everybody knows that it's out there. We can talk yeah. a little bit, uh, especially with, the, with you folks. You find folks that... Uh, have joined us tonight. Um, you want to give people a, a sort of an early taste of what you think of Call of Duty? Uh, if you're a big fan of Josh Dumel, you're going to love the review. <laughs> uh, I love Josh Dumel. fucking Josh Dumel talk. <laughs> you guys just been going on and on. I, just, about I, I don't even know how to say his name. Why it's, is it? It's Josh Dumel. It, it's got all these extra letters in there. Though. I know. It's, du I know. it's like Duhamel. Du yeah. But I feel like Hamill's Dumel. taken. Okay. So all right. Duhamel, Dumel, okay. Dumel, it is. All right. Uh, no, I, th I think the I'm a big campaign player so yeah i was all about the campaign for that game it's very intense it's beautiful uh, yeah. yeah vic got to play it on the xbox one x which i think we're going to talk about a little bit later because i want to dive into that yeah i got one coming yeah i pre-ordered that scorpio edition did you i was on the flight no, it might be there tonight it's been coming right, in so early I'll see you guys later yeah <laughs> <laughs> i've been seeing t uh, tweets and posts from friends that they, their xbox one yeah X those guys get like early. the hookups I feel no like no the, they, I feel they like a ordered lot of them, them and they got them i feel like lots of them dudes got the hookups i used to get hookups you got yeah. hookups I, well, we, I cover the business, so I, ho I hope that I still have As if I cups. don't, Vic. I'm still here, damn it. <laughs> I'm just the American side of <laughs> the, 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 what, you know, the, the lifeblood of E.T., I yes, like to think. Yes, yes. Uh, but no, so I pre-ordered mine, um, but you said it looked fantastic on that. I played it on the PC, which, of course, yeah. on like the Max's settings. and it. I'm going to be reviewing the Xbox One X as well. Maybe we, that's our next uh Sure. After you've had it for a week, let's do that next week. Done. We'll do a little tap. That's how talk. business gets done. We'll talk. Yeah, it's, uh, our production meetings <laughs> live is how we do. That's what we should <laughs> call this should, podcast. Should we review that? <laughs> <laughs> but, now, uh, how, but so like, okay, so if I bought, say, if I bought Call yeah. of Duty on the Xbox One, yeah, is, is that the pl is that the game that you play on your Xbox One X, or is there the special Xbox One X branded title in game, or is it all? They ha they actually have a menu in the uh, subsystem that says Xbox One X enhanced. And so they See, are identifying them. Okay. They are identifying the games. I just wasn't sure if there's gonna. Is there another box? Is there another like? Because you're. I'm. Ass, I'm assuming you're getting codes. I don't know if you're physical. Yeah, mostly codes okay. these days. But if you uh, do they, get a retail disc, they, I think they do have something that signifies it's enhanced for Xbox on the on new boxes okay. at least. Okay. And there's a lot of older software like what what uh, Bear and I were talking about in the last podcast. Uh, uh, Halo Three. 
from the Xbox 360 has been enhanced for Xbox One X. Which is insane. It's like in 4K, beautiful so, texture. Okay, so quick question. Uh, yeah. So I have all my Xbox One games yes. saved to a hard drive. Yeah. If I plug that hard drive into the Xbox One X, is it ready to go? I don't know. Oh. I don't know. I'm not an expert. You're not an expert. <laughs> X don't give it to you. What? <laughs> Uh, but I am a fan already. Like, it really has proven itself. It's the, it's the new console goodness, man. It's, it, well, it's just – It's hard not to get excited about new, new. It, well, Six teraflops don't deliver I to mean, you. But I was doing a head-to-head because I have the PS4 Pro version of Call of, Call of Duty as well. And I was bouncing f- same scene, you know, same place. I was just switching – yeah, well, switching uh, components on my receiver from the PS4 Pro to the Xbox One X, it looked better on the Xbox One X, and so did Mordor, yeah, and so did uh, Assassin's Creed Origins. You know, six teraflops won't deliver to you. I, I don't know what it, what the hell it is. I don't either. Uh, but it's got it's got a horsepower clearly that it can render, uh, you know, more. Blade Blur in stuff. chat says we might want to raise our input on our audio. Sorry if it sounds low. We're just trying to keep it quiet in the hotel room. I will try. I'll try to raise the input. Vic's on gonna. The audio. I'm gonna hold his. Okay, okay hold that. I'm Be gonna careful. review his iPad now. Be careful you can answer a couple questions jose have i played I mario wanna, uh doy I, i'm gonna break something not I yet know it. um okay, i have so not had way. the chance it's i have it waiting. that's louder is that too loud is that too yeah, loud how it, does that let sound let me know if it's if it sounds too loud i don't know is if it's okay? just raising my okay? audio or not is that okay uh, i'm gonna be streaming mario odyssey uh so i've just w- been waiting to get a hold of that and get my streams on uh, I have played a little WWE 2K18. Also been streaming some of that. If you're not following me on the internet, I stream a lot. Yes. So when I'm not shooting with Victor, you can find me on the interwebs. He's always streaming. Streaming the video games. Way better. Great. Awesome. Perfect. Fantastic. Boom. Nailed it. Right. Thank you, Doy. Thank you, Bear Dog. Thank Blade you, Blur. Stratos. Is that Blade good? Yes. Yeah, so you keep us. You keep us. Uh, Blade Burr hangs out in my chat. You keep us uh, all set and uh, and at the right levels. Okay, you guys, let us know. Loud Very and clear. cool. Loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so Xbox One X, I am a fan. I think it's a very solid machine. I think uh, it's it's very Did you exciting. Get the Scorpio edition? No, I got the regular. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna review the Scorpio edition. Well, right? those those were the the special limited editions, right? Uh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, I was. Does on it a, two I terabytes with the Scorpio, or one? I hope it's probably one, but it should be two. Yeah, you're you gonna know? fill that up immediately. Yeah. Well, I have a, yeah. like a two terabyte hard drive already. That's. Like on the cusp of being full, and I'm just like, when am I? If it's a if it's a series game, I'll delete the oldest one. Yeah. But sometimes I'm like, I don't know. Maybe I want to go back and play some Killer Instinct. Yes, that's one of the ones that's enhanced, by the way. Of course. Yeah. 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 And like the old old games, I can play some. I want to play some fucking Fusion Frenzy. Duck wins. <laughs> like. <laughs> hey, we got a new sponsor. Welcome JBJ Blaze JBJ. and TFA. Thank you so much. JBJ, what's up? That's Good incredible. To see you again. That is awesome. Uh, yes, this is a. F- oh, this. <laughs> What, somebody's asking, what is this? Is that a phone? Yeah, this it's, is the, this is the uh, it's the iPhone XS. Yeah, the, that, there it is. It's the XS, exactly. They've added the button back, but the screen is now a foot long. So <laughs> This is the iPad Pro. I've already given it a 9. You'll have to scroll <laughs> back and take a look at the uh, – it's, uh, it's um, one of the uh, indulgences that I allowed myself this year. It's literally the size of my foot. It's, I got a big-ass foot. <laughs> it is an, it's an enormous screen, and I bought thing. it almost 100% for comic books. The other indulgence – because I, I did not – I said I'm not going to buy the iPhone 10 this year. I'm not going to buy that. No. I didn't buy You're the iPhone. you get the X. iPad X? We are <laughs> actually shooting this on, on the iPhone 7 – or I said iPad. And mm-hmm. I did not, not buy the iPhone X 10. Or the 8. That's did Or the, the 8. 8. Nope. This is the iPhone even. 7 Plus that this is streaming on. That's my phone right now. I still, I I still love it. It's a, it was, I got it last year. It's great. Everything's working fine. Knock on wood. Um, uh and I, I didn't want to get the phone. I just felt like I spent a lot of money on this phone, like everybody does, and it yeah. was crazy. And I said, I, I don't know if I want to do that again this year. But what I did do was get this, and I also bought I, – I finally caved and bought an Apple Watch. Nice. Join the, join the crew, man. And this is the uh, the third oh. revision of it. I, I still got the first one, so I can't swim in it. Yeah. Can't shower in it. But it probably does everything. It, it's, it has all the uh, modern No, you know what OS's. happened is my original iPhone 7 Plus yeah. uh, broke. So yeah. they had to give me a new one. Yeah. So when they gave me a new one, I was able to sync all my information over. That was fine. But it didn't sync to the Apple Watch. Mm. And I didn't know how to sync the Apple Watch. Like I can, It says pointed at the thing, and it doesn't really work. So unless I just factory reset it, I'm like, nah, whatever. Because yeah. that just takes up a lot of battery. So all I use it for is my fitness apps. Oh, really? And a watch. So it doesn't sync with your uh, no, phone? No, so I, it's fine. I don't need it to. That's crazy. Yeah. That's no, what you're it's supposed great. to my, do. My, f- my phone life is great. No, you know what I do with a watch? I tell yeah. time on it. Yeah. You know what I used to say before the, I got the Apple Watch? Like, you know what tells time? My phone. 
Yeah. A big old clock on the face of it. I Again, click the, button. the watch is an indulgence. But is it, that the one where you can just talk to it? You don't even need it. You can just dick crazy that shit. And yeah, like, and I have been doing that. Calling dick crazy. And I actually kind of dig it, you know, because it's raining all the time in Vancouver, and I have a. You don't want to touch your phone. You'd be like, "Yes, this is Victor." Well, my phone's in my pocket. Coming through loud and And usually I've got an umbrella and a and a a, a, a coffee Jeez, cup. It's perfect for when you go to the umbrella like this. You just be like, "Yes, it's raining because <laughs> yes. I'm in Vancouver." And, and you can dictate you. text. It's so stupid and silly, but it works, and it's actually it's actually kind of cool. And I like that it reminds you to stand up every once in a while. Like I'm gaming all the time, and it says, "Yeah, no, you should that's, get up and now. And that's the get thing. off your ass." That's another reason why I didn't want to reset it because I've got a streak going. Yeah. Since I got this baby in Christmas, where I've not missed an activity yet. That's good. Even when I'm on a plane, so I was like, it. but I found like you can cheat that. I'll just pl- I'll be playing my switch like this as long as my hands up in the air. Yes. It'll think I'm standing up. <laughs> that's awesome. Uh, so that that's what I got this year. I, I also like the Apple Watch. I didn't think I was going to dig it that much. I don't like that the, it's not really that customizable. I don't like that they all look the they have same. New Disney faces. Do you use the Disney faces? Uh, no, I put the Blade Runner 2049 pictures on there. Oh, that's weird. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Just a big old picture of Harrison Ford's face. <laughs> it's five o'clock, Vic. Of course. Um, so the, the, that's my that, – I guess that was our Apple uh, section of the that show. That was it. Thanks, that was Vic. it. There it is. And our Xbox One X, um, I'm looking forward to getting home and getting back on it and playing some more games on the sucker. I'm looking forward to getting home and hoping it's there. It's going to be that would be awesome. Yeah, no, it's uh, – it, it is definitely super compelling. It, it, it makes the case for – um, with third-party titles coming out, it's going to be the best platform to play the new third-party games on there. Yeah. And it sounds like Microsoft today made the announcement that they're uh, investing in some more first-party uh, development, which I they like absolutely hear. need. They're, so they're investing like in, in new studios or current existing studios to build them first-party games. And that's what I, I mean. That's yep. the thing. Like when PlayStation announced PlayStation 4 Pro, yeah, I feel like they didn't really push it. Yeah, like they announced it, and they but they like. Well, they're. I mean, I, I, you'll they're hear dipping like their looks, toe. They're dipping yeah, their toe. Yeah, it looks in. good, and you know, obviously yeah. optimized for PS4 Pro, and yep. a lot of people will say. But I feel like with the, you know, the Xbox has been pumping out the teraflop talk, and even though I have no yeah. idea what it means, but I feel like they're pushing it to where people are knowing that the games are going to look better than they've normally looked. I feel like with the PlayStation, it's just like we got this game coming out on PS4. And they still like, think it still looks awesome. They still think that the S is going to. S- you know, outsell the X by a wide margin. I, most people will not go in and go, "Oh, I need to spend five hundred bucks in the states or six hundred bucks plus tax." Sure. In, in the or is it six fifty in Canada? It, it's expensive. It's yeah. a lot of money, and it's a uh, you so know. I think a, a lot of a, a lot of our yeah. You're, you're it's right. Like iPhone. Uh, the iPhone. They put two iPhones out in the same year. Yeah, I know, and they're the the cheap one is a thousand dollars. Right. Yeah. It's like you can save a little money by only spending a thousand dollars for your walking <laughs> phone device, or you can just get an Apple Watch that does all the talking for you. Yeah. No, and I, yeah, totally an Apple Watch. Yeah, we are we are uh, spoiled by the amount of tech we have around us. I'm actually very curious in the chat. Let let us know if you are going to get the Xbox One X. If you've seen enough, is I, X going to deliver it to you? Are are you excited enough that you're maybe you've bought the PlayStation Four? You've You've been gaming happily in that direction for a while. Maybe you've got the Switch, and now you're thinking, okay, this is my time to jump into the Xbox ecosystem. Yeah. Is the X going to deliver it to you? Yeah, the X, X, X going to give it to you. X going to give it to you. Uh, but, th- I mean, like, again, like I played Shadow of War yeah. on my PS4. Yeah. And it looked great. It wasn't a PS4 Pro. A lot right. of people were asking, is this the PS4 Pro? I'm like, yes. no, just typical, regular old PS4 Pro. We sh- you know, that's one of the issues, right? Like, we are being sort of trained to start looking for that 4K gloss. Yeah. That's si- you want 60 frames a second. But HDR. But we, we still don't know. Yeah. We don't like, know. Is this 4K? Is I mean, this the enhanced? Unless you're playing is on, this? like, a CRT. Yeah. And then you make the jump to anything <laughs> as in HD. You're just like, holy <laughs> shit. Like, I was over at my girlfriend's house, and her dad, it was he had a component cables plugged in. Yeah. And then I plugged his thing into HDMI, and he's like, holy shit. Yeah. What is this? Yeah. Everything looks so crisp and yeah. so clear. And you, I'm like. You can. I mean, there are definitely moments with uh, with 4K and HDR where it's like, oh, okay, that's what it's all about. Yeah. You know, like Forza, uh, Motorsports, uh, Forza 7 looks insane in 4K, running at 60 frames and the HDR all over. It's like showing off, and yeah. Call of Duty I felt was kind of showing off a little bit in, on uh, on the X as well, uh, and Assassin's Creed looks incredible, and you and know I, I want it to look as good as it looks 
on my PC because my yeah. PC is pretty odd. Like I played Wolfenstein on Mein Leben yeah. graphic setting. Like that. Right. Mein Leben was like the highest. Uh, that isn't. Uh, that isn't. A, I don't think that's enhanced at all. I don't yeah, think it's enhanced for the man. Pro or for the X. Yeah. I think they just deliver. I th- I don't think so anyway. It just looks good regardless. It but looks I mean, good. Yeah. But uh, having played it on those graphic settings, I'm interested to see what it looks like on the consoles. That right. if it's not enhanced. Because I just saw an email that was like Bethesda list their their revamped pumped out games for the Xbox One X. And I saw Fallout 4 on there. I'm like, come on, you couldn't do that for Wolfenstein's new game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the hell? All right, let's see. Uh, we got what do we have here? I probably will. Uh, Shadows coming tomorrow. Stop talking about Scorpio. <laughs> So I, I would get the Xbox One X if I could, but it'll be a long while. Looking forward to season four. What are we talking about there with season four? What's that? What's season four? Season four of consoles? Where? What are we talking I don't about? know. Season four. Uh, because teraflops. Uh, because I'm teraflops looking forward to get. X enhancing my OG Xbox games. Yeah, that's the other benefit, too, is the faster loading times, and it does upgrade all of the uh, existing library that you have. There's like. There, there are, you know, sizable benefits. Yeah. Just like with the Pro, if you have PlayStation VR, you get major benefits there. And there's Well, somebody was saying, like, Quantum Break is, like, 170 gigs if you download, like, the sexy oh, version massive, of it. Yeah. I'm like, what the shit? I yeah. mean, holy crap. It's massive. So, like, I'm, I, in my heart and of I, you hearts, know what? I wanted to just I did download that, yeah. and I did load it up. And it took six years, but and, it's and still downloaded. And then, I, no, I, I, it's on my machine. And then I played it, and it's like, yeah, it's still lame. <laughs> it looks great. What about Littlefinger? Still lame. Gonna... Still a lame game. No, but it like, looks pretty. I, in my heart of hearts, what I want to do is plug in the hard drive that I have plugged into my current Xbox One. Yeah. And I want it to just say, you know, this will work. Would you like to download the enhanced patch or something? I want it to be simple. Yeah. Because if it's too complicated and I have to re-download all these games and buy another, I'm sure I'm going to have to buy another damn hard drive. But right. I want it to just work. I want to plug it in and it works. That's why I keep uh, everything on the hard drive because I hate keeping everything on the Xbox itself. I don't know if it does that, but I know that you better. have to. I know that you have to format the drive specific so it talks to an Xbox. So presumably, well, mine already talks to an Xbox. Yeah, presumably so it cheat should. On my one and go to the one. X? Once you punch in your uh, account information onto the new Xbox, it should know all of this stuff. Well, I'll let you know. I when can't wait to hear what week. you think. Yes, I cannot wait to hear what you think. First world problem, Soren. You are absolutely <laughs> right, buddy. Absolutely right. Sheriff, Sheriff, audio is still low, guys. It, is that the general consensus? I think it's just because your microphone's so far from your face. Is that what it is? And I keep mine is, here. So is, one, is one louder than the other? Is that what's happening? Bear Dog, love that Godzilla review. It's been a while. That game was I actually, <laughs> I actually really like that game. That game was fun. I just, I hate you just kept playing it over and over again. You just kept getting more powerful, but it was like the same shit over and over again. Yes. I'm like, I don't know why I like it, but that, that was the movie game that you and yeah, yeah, uh, the but Crapeteers. It, but you guys yeah. took it. The took that on? We took, we took, <laughs> we took that, we took that straight to the crapper. <laughs> Um, but anyway, it was actually like one of those games I, st- I had a hard time deleting. I'm like, no, my Godzilla's pretty badass now. Uh, okay, so says Jose's mic cuts out when you move it away from your face. Mine's mine's nice. Could be louder, but much better. I, I can try turning it up a little bit more. Should I do that? They don't give it to you. I'm going to try to turn it up a little bit more. Here we go. I'm gonna hold All right, we have the technology. Vic has the technology. There we are. Let's see. Is that better? Shadow says he hears us fine. All right. Right, they're both up pretty loud I now. Just, all right. Nice face, Jose. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate my face. <laughs> uh, we do need a new Bioshock, but now you can play the old Bioshock on your Xbox One X, and it, hopefully it'll be enhanced in some way, shape, I'm or form. I'm sure. I, can, I, like, I want like 2K, NBA 2K. Yeah. See that enhanced, because it already looks like phenomenal. It, well, it looks amazing on the Pro. You haven't had the Pro, right? You, did, you didn't get the Pro. Why did I give Angel of Darkness a 6.5? That was my first review ever in Tommy's Backyard. Was it really? Yeah, when we were all over at Tommy's house. Holy shit. <laughs> and there was like Bubbly Moose was there and uh, like a whole bunch of G4 forum members were just Oh my at, god. Yeah. Was that you and me or was it you and Tommy? No, it was there was like six oh, forum members. Oh, all everybody. Back yes, in the day. that's right. It was oh you my and god. you and Tommy were reviewing it, but we were just there giving us our input. Oh, uh, right. That's hilarious. Yeah. That's amazing. It's the first so, judgment day meet up. So somebody remembers that Blade Blur does. That's incredible. 2003. That's incredible Blade Blur. Been reviewing games for 14 years. We were just talking this. about that. That 2003 was the first GDC that Jose came to. Yeah, and with now I've been EP. to 15. 15 of them. 15. This That's year right. Was my 15th, my 15th E3. I, we worked together this year, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, at, at GDC we had some fun. Uh, no, I was only there for the first day. And then That's I went right. To the Seattle Comic Con. But we got some stuff done. You yeah. were busy rocking. You were with uh, Marty McFly, right? Yeah. Oh, that was at. When was that? 
You're, I mean, you want to stop. Yeah. What's been going on for you? Because I know a lot of people are always at like, what's what's everybody doing? That's what the question that I get. Where's Tommy? Is <laughs> Tommy? The Tommy's n- traveling the world, married man now. Yeah, that's usually the first question I get. And then where's Jose? Where's yeah, where's I'm, Scott? I'm where's Marissa? I'm still here. I do a lot of work with Twitch. Yeah. Uh, Twitch has been awesome enough oh, to put this away. to bring me uh, to a lot of their events. So if you see hosting the big events, I've been hosting for them at a. Uh, I did some Tokyo Game Show stuff. Mm-hmm. Do Gamescom with them for the last few years. EA. Uh, EA hires me out, so I do EA Play stuff for the last couple of years. Yeah. I've uh, just been streaming a lot on Twitch. So if you're on Twitch, I'm Don underscore Fubar. That's me. That's kind of the new media future right now. It's sort of I mean, like – I for ev- me, it's like it's, – it's my way of still kind of reviewing games still. Yeah. Because I'm playing all these games anyway. Yeah. So I'm like, well, I might as well just stream it even – Oh, I mean, yeah. You know, my, my, my channel isn't the biggest channel on Twitch. I'm sure there's plenty of people with thousands of other more people there. Uh, but I'm playing the games anyway, so I'm like, well, shit, I'm just going to stream. And then like people like Blade Blur come in. I see Blade Blur every once in a while. Well, J. Blade. When when you're streaming, you're kind of reviewing in real time. It's, it's yeah. kind of like you're doing a review on yeah. your butt with, yeah. with other people. Review on the buns. That's what and, I call it. And everybody's got questions. I, I mean, I really dig it, too. And I, I, you know, I kind of wish that EP had a little more infrastructure so that we could do something with that format. Because I feel like yeah. there's a lot of it's the same thing. It's literally reviewing on the run. Yeah. Because it's you're going. Yes. And I feel like there's something else there, you know, like incorporating a little video, like video messages from people or something like that as as you're reviewing things in real time or there's something else there. But I feel like the way that streaming is being handled right now, it's the same kind of setup. Sure. Everywhere, you yeah. know, and it could be morphed into really valuable content. And, and honestly, I love streaming. I, th- I think it's a blast, and I really dig it. And I, one thing that I really have loved is incorporating some of the stuff that I stream into a review that we cut later on. Like the thing that really hit me home, hit it home for me this year was uh, Resident Evil Seven, where it's a great I game. It was an amazing game. But I referenced something that actually we record that I actually streamed, and we had footage of that moment. And it's like, yeah, that's. That's incredibly valuable. I did shit my pants on stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. I swear. Because now it's like when you have these moments like when we would review games yeah. and people would be like, there's like, oh, I got so frustrated when I was playing this part. And you'd yeah. be like, here's me being really frustrated. Yeah. <laughs> I know. And, 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 you know, I've been shooting a, a little bit of uh, – pla- oh, we got somebody knocking on the door. Hold on one second. Like we're being too loud. No, we can't be. Really? We're totally too loud. Oh, really? Okay, hold on to this. It's our neighbors. Okay. We're, this is our first us getting in trouble. <laughs> Vic shut the door. I think he's dead. I think they killed him. I think they killed him. Vic's gone, guys. We lost Vic. It's just me. It's just me, guys. Uh, We're uh fine. We're back. Everything's good. Vic's back. Yeah. So it's not just me now. Yeah. Uh, But yeah, that was like, I liked, uh, I like being able to reference something that actually is happening when I'm playing the game because I've been, I mean, Games have been coming out yeah. hot. Yes. And I've been just plowing through as many games That's the as time. I possibly it's the can. the game avalanche. 20 hours of South Park. I did 30 hours of Shadows of War. And this is just like in a couple of days span. So if you're interested in checking out these games, just come hang out. Shoot the shit. I'll talk to everybody because yeah. there's not a lot of people in there anyway. Yep. And I'll just be playing games. You can make fun of me. You can praise me for being awesome. <laughs> I'll do that too. Uh, we've got uh, MC18 is VR dead. Uh, I don't think it's dead. No, I th- there hasn't. It's been quiet. It's well, been very quiet. I think I think the the financials have have sort of come into play, and people have started to recognize the investments were needed and required uh, on all sides. The consumers have definitely kind of looked at it and hummed and hawed and thought, sure. and and it hasn't been selling as well. So that lack of install base is directly sort of uh, affecting all the developers that have spent heavily to try to bring software. That makes a dent. That makes a difference. And uh, the guys that made the Eve Valkyrie game have just pulled a lot of their VR sort of development off the shelf. And yeah. they've I, let go well, of a lot of people. It's a tough thing. It's like when it was first launching, there was so many companies getting behind it and wanting to showcase what it can do. I mean, we saw you know, there's a Fallout thing out there. It's like, oh, there's a Doom in VR. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But now it's just been so quiet. Everybody's like, well, there's nobody really. There's no reason. That's why it's kind of. I, I feel like for me, I don't have any VR at home. Yeah. I, I, I didn't want to bite the bullet because. And you, you were, you've tested it all I've out. Pl- I've played a lot of yeah. VR stuff, yes. but just not in my own personal space, which well, is I, and different. I, I think that's what's b- about to happen. I think that we're going to start to see a lot of VR caves that are going to be a big deal in lots of like they're going to be destinations with cool software. 
And uh, I, I think that's where, y you know, people are going to invest. And it will eventually translate to some people taking that stuff home. But I, I, I don't know, man. I feel like. It needed to be like what Kinect was if, uh, added on. You know what I mean? Like, mm. not like with PlayStation, you had to buy the camera. And right. Was, okay. You gotcha. Know, you know, and yeah. Perif like, peripherals like, are always oh, here you go. It's like, tough. It's yeah. Like, well, there's a bundle that's going to cost me an extra hundred bucks on yeah. the VR headset. Maybe I'll, I'm already spending so much money for these consoles now. It's like, well, do I want to invest in this Kinect? And then there were some games for that, and everybody was pushing it. And then it kind of died down. And there was a big year when Sony was so heavy on 3D. There was just like, we got the Sony 3D TV, and yeah. you get you know the camera support, and it's going to be able to use your things. And now it's just like that's dead. So it's just like these game. I don't know if it's the, it's not the game companies, but like these console makers keep putting these peripherals out there for people to sort of adjust to and take advantage of. And then when they do, they're just like, well, thanks, but. Now that you can't, you have to buy an adapter if you want to connect your connect to your Xbox One X. Yeah. It's like, well, shit. This yeah. Is how I, you know, Xbox record that. Yeah. And I'm, you know, smoking my friend in a game. I can just push start and record it. But yeah. I like being able to talk to it sometimes. I know. The, and actually, the Kinect camera wasn't that useful, but having a microphone yeah. embedded in the console was actually kind of cool. Before I had a, a you know, streaming set up with my computer, I can yeah. stream, and it was like, oh, there's my face, and that's yeah. how everything works. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah. thing with PlayStation, but now I'm just like, all right, I'll just plug it into my PC and yeah, yeah. El Gato that shizzle. Yes. Uh, but with VR, I mean, I feel like one of the major issues with it is that it's so solitary. It's so much a personal experience. Yeah. And then you are going to have some profound fun when you jump into VR and you are going to be an evangelist if you ever, you know, take that leap, you know, whether you're at your friend's house or you buy any one of the units, the PlayStation, Oculus or Vive, they're all good. And you play some of that software, you are going to be that person that's talking about how cool it is. Yeah. But then that's what we all sound like. All of us out there that are telling people how cool it is, is we sound like a bunch of like, like cultists or something yeah. like that, you I know? Mean, in a way, it's, I mean, for me, what I've said since the beginning of my experiences with the different VR units I've tried is it's awesome for demos. Yeah. It's fantastic. I love going into a thing 10, 15 minutes in the VR world and I have an awesome time and then I'm moving on to something else. Yeah. I, there, I mean, Resident Evil was the one game I saw people who just, that were just willing to invest time into a VR experience and they got, a shit ton of joy out of it and like yeah. a lot of people were streaming it and it was terrified and it's fun to watch but then there just hasn't really been anything that's like what's going to keep me in there the best thing has been the x-wing mission in uh, yeah. star wars battlefront one right and that was an afterthought that was just like we got this game coming out we should that, do it. that was the best thing that was the the most crystal clear application for what we should be doing with vr i think anything where you're sitting in a vehicle and you're controlling that vehicle through three-dimensional space VR, like even the the uh, I can't even really talk about it, but uh, you know we're flying in spaceships in a in our current game that I'm taking a look at, <laughs> and it's like maybe similar to what you just mentioned. Yeah, <laughs> and and uh, I would love to be VRing this, yeah. but I cannot. Yeah, I want like a VR like Mech Assault, like yeah. the old school Mech Assault game where you just there have like been some okay Mech games yeah, already. But there've I mean been, like bring back yeah. Mech Assault, Xbox. Yeah. Remember Xbox Mech Assault games? I, I, m one of the thoughts that I had, and I proposed this to uh, a VR developer, I said, I don't feel like the screen manufacturers out there, the Samsungs and the LGs and the Sonys, they, I mean, Sony's got VR as well, So, but I feel like the television and monitor sort of makers out there, the people that make OLEDs and are thinking about the next phones being foldable and stuff like that, and they're making paper-thin wall displays and stuff, they're not just going to sit back and let VR become this huge thing, you yeah. know, where suddenly everybody's they, they in it. They want a the screen on the wall or on your nightstand and not on your yeah. face. Yeah, and so what they're going to do, I think, is uh, they would push up, push back heavily against VR. So VR already has the built-in inherent challenge of it being a solitary thing yeah. that must be shared, and that comes with all of the uh, um, the, the cleaning necessities implied in that equation already. Uh, but then you've also got, uh, y you know, software discrepancies, and then you've got major competition to deal with, you know, w from externally developed uh, software, like, you know, fantastic games that are played off of regular television screens, but Netflix streaming shows and, you know, movies that get people uh, actually out to the theaters. My, my, uh, one of my friends, Ted, like, he loves watching 3D movies with the VR headset. Yeah. He says that's awesome. And I'm like, all right, I, I can get behind that because – I have like an old 3D TV that used like powered up glasses that like don't work anymore because yeah. can't even find batteries for them anymore. It's just yeah, a yeah. pain in the ass. Yeah. So I'm like, that would be kind of cool for me. But it, again, it's more of a personal experience. I'm like, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be in a room full of people. Yeah. I'm gonna check out this movie. 
You guys do whatever the hell you I want. Mean, <laughs> that, that, that is what's so weird. Uh, and like I, I, I have played a ton of VR, and I want to go back, and I definitely will be getting back into some VR after the uh, this wave of uh, the end of the year game starts to slow down a little bit. And I will def- definitely do a, a VR recap. And I, I have been checking in almost every quarter to see the progress on the software. And now we've got all the, the – uh, uh, it was just announced that Skyrim is going to be the pack-in with uh, PlayStation VR. So if you buy PlayStation VR, you're going to get the, the Skyrim in VR, which is a pretty good deal, right? I mean uh, – uh, So, like, I want to see a lot of this stuff and check in and see what the progress is. And I hope it's – I hope I hope to be surprised. Yeah. I hope it's amazing. I mean, I I know it it'll it the what the little tidbits of stuff that we get will be amazing. Yeah. But I feel like most third party people are kind of just like, let's focus on making it look as awesome as we can now that we have these six teraflops and these high end well, graphic PCs I, I and hope these so. PlayStation Pros and I hope so. I mean, that's one of the things that I kind of I I I worry about this business is that we're it's all, the video game business. It's always so quick to adapt whatever is hot and current. You can see that with loot crates and. You know, all of these other things out there, you know. Uh, and VR was one of those. Driving free-to-play was one of those things. And th- they seem hot, and they seem like gold rush kind of moves. And they are an answer to the, uh, the, um, the act of the video game companies losing money on risks that they've taken before. Yeah. And they pivot, and they say, well, let's try this then. And often that doesn't work either. But I feel like the road to, um, you know, it's I say this, but I know how hard it is right now because mm-hmm. everybody is watching content on phones, and it's just like the yeah, world is phones. and the world is pivoting so quickly. So to try to chase an audience in any medium, you know, like movie theaters are going down. At least two phones in the span of like four months. But I feel like what we were doing with video games in the last 10 years of, of getting sort of almost movie quality production is the right direction to get more people playing, you know? I hope so. I, like, I mean, we're, we're coming from this era, again, like I mentioned, the, I, the two iPhones in a few months. There was a press conference with Xbox, and they announced two Xboxes. Yeah. And one, one press conference. It's like, yeah. you guys can slow down. Like, <laughs> yeah. You just one at a time, one at a time, baby <laughs> steps, you know? You can be like... Well, now we've got this console, but at the end of our press conference, yes. we're going to announce another console that's much better than the one we just announced an hour ago. Remember, remember that one that was like <laughs> yeah. 90 Don't minutes ago? Yeah. Hold your giant tome. Okay, well, we've got another question. What about uh, AR then? This is from John R. Martin. Uh, I feel like that would solve thing? the problem of <laughs> 90 minutes ago. Yeah. Uh, th- th- uh, having to isolate yourself. Yes, it does. I, I, I totally I, – I'm more on board, I think, with the idea of uh, AR – um, through devices that don't, sh- you know, close yourself off. That's the other thing with VR. It's like you're in a space, but really what you've done is you've wrapped a towel around your head. You know, you've wrapped something around Very your head. Very expensive towel. Right? And, the, and it's just for you. And it's just kind of strange. And I, I feel like with AR, it's like take a look at this or, you know, try yeah. these on and but look at all that's, that's something yeah. that I feel like it came and went. I mean, obviously now with phones trying to improve the AR stuff, that's a thing. And there's like websites and you know other sites that are trying to take advantage of AR for stuff that isn't gaming related. But I mean, like we had when the 3DS came out with the little AR cards, and the yeah. PS Vita came out and had the little AR things, and they were trying to make AR a bigger thing in the gaming medium, and it didn't really come together as well as they wanted it. No other games kind of took advantage of it. Some did, but yeah. like one or two other games. And so I feel like even that is just like a, a gimmick that just can just put games on your consoles. I'll play them. I don't want any other perifs unless you're going to blow me away. Yeah. We got uh, blow my mind. We got m- more people asking for turning up the volume, so I'm going to do that a little Pump bit more. Up the jam. I mean, th- this is about as loud as it goes. Is that too loud? I, I don't want to break any speakers or anything like oh, that. Oh, we're going to break the okay. internet. We're going to Kardashian That's the shit right. out of this stream. <laughs> uh, okay. Vic just banned me. What? He, no, I did uh, not ban you. Okay. Uh, how, how do you check? How do you check Twitter during? How do you check Twitter during cuts, boring cutscenes with VR? Yes, very good point, Sean. That's right. Yeah. I can't even when I stream off of VR. I actually really enjoy it because it's uh, you know it's like I'm still connecting with people, but I can't I can't follow with the the chat. No offense, I love the chat too, but it's it's a it's a different dynamic when you've got VR and you. I mean, you, it'd be impossible to kind of keep up and then also look in every direction and try to... So know. when you're streaming, like, PSVR, yeah. 
Uh, are you streaming through the PlayStation? Yes. And you, can you read the chat? No. I, uh, I, I think you can have it read to you, but I haven't done any of that. <laughs> Someone read to me. I just, you're just going to hire like a monkey next to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like I, it may be a little more frustrating for the viewers because they're not able to interact. And I think that's part of why you guys would ever, ever watch. And thank you for doing that, by the way. Uh, but it's a different dynamic to be to be that honest and that bold about that sure. it, playing the game in front of everybody. It, it feels like and always this yeah. look on your face. Yeah, it's like oh my god, it's amazing. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> everybody has that face. I feel like yes. I have the VR face every time I'm playing games because I'll, I'll look at I'll, I'll look back at some of the streams I do and I just have this face. That's we kept running the footage of you and Marissa with the with the VR heads. So every time we had it in the rundown, it, we we just cut to you guys with the. That's what it is. I actually was telling developers. I I, I know I've said this before on previous Vic Space, but I was I was telling um, you know PR people that work for these companies like. I don't want to preview your thing, and I don't. I don't want to do a segment about what your game is and how to play it because they're all awesome demos. Every VR, like every VR game, is awesome to demo. To yeah, try. that's what I was saying. Like if if it isn't, you're you got a real problem. But every one is awesome, and it's just like. The same thing can be said to almost every. It's like you're there, man. Yeah, it's so. My real. favorite, v, my favorite VR thing was at GDC like a year or two ago. Yeah, and it was just like a you like it was like walk the line or it was like a sky skywire thing where mm -hmm. you're just like. Man on a wire. Yeah, and I was waiting in line for this, and the line wasn't very long. But this older guy got in line, and he puts the headset on, and he looks down, and then he goes, "Nope," and takes it off. <laughs> and it's like he waited in line for like 15 minutes. And he's just, "Nope," and then he left, and that was his experience. And so I did it, and I was just like, "Okay, this is kind of cool." Like you put it on, and you literally have fans blowing in this demo, so it makes you feel like you're way up high, and you're That's just like cool. you look down, and you're literally just like in between these giant buildings, walking on this wire. That's so cool. And they have a little wire built into the carpet. You're just like walking on it, and I'm like, all right, that's kind of cool. But then I jumped off to the side, and I didn't fall. So I'm like, fail demo. Yeah. I wanted like a fall animation. Ooh, yeah, ah. no, you want to fall. Yeah, totally. I I don't know if you caught my uh, my review. I was reviewing uh, the Oculus. Um, what what the hell are they called? The, the handles, the little nunchucks. Yeah, I forget the name of it. The, Oculus they're, they're, handles. Oh, touch the Oculus Touch. They're great, and uh, they have a Spider-Man Homecoming demo. But just as you're about to swing in that thing, they cut it out. And so I think Fred Wicks told me uh, on chat, one of the chats that I had, that it, uh, uh, they fixed. They have a better one now, where you actually can swing through New York a little bit, which is cool. That sounds pretty awesome. And I want to do that, right? Yeah, I'll well, do that. Okay. Rockstar's uh, agent. I brought that up at E3 this oh year, talking God. to somebody. That it, I mean, it came up in my time hop. It was just like, oh, Rockstar announces agent? This is going to be great. And that was like 2012 <laughs> or something. Like, I don't think that one's coming out. <laughs> they had, Red they Dead had, 3, I'll play it. They had a little thing called Grand Theft Auto mm -hmm. 5 and, uh, and uh, Red Dead's GTA coming. Online and Red Dead, yeah. That Red Dead's going to be coming soon. Yep, absolutely. And it's going to look so good on the teraflops or those pros or the PC you're going to be playing it on. Okay, cool. So that's just a bit better with our audio. Thanks, Chris. Uh, I think there, that it's maxed. So this is the first time we've ever done this, before, you know, through this setup. We're doing so it live. We are doing it live. We just said, let's give it a shot. I, I'm, I'm amazed we have picture and it looks okay and the, the Internet's fast enough. Um, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is just a weird age we live in. Like, I've been doing this yes. show for so long with Vic, I've never watched it as it's happened. I know. It's so bizarre, like, right? Like, damn. All right. Um, okay, well, something super cool was uh, – uh, announced uh, over the news today and it's just it, you know it's kind of a, at, at the rumor stage we don't know what the hell is going to happen but there is uh there are, there's talks there are talks and, and people are talking about disney buying fox and 20th uh, century fox the movie division they keep, yes. they can't buy the network because it would be a conflict of interest and yes and um uh, anti-competition and all that disney stuff. just throwing away it, cash it, you can buy, i mean i don't know how much you're going to spend on some 20th century fox but, but I, you can spend half of that, and you can buy me. <laughs> but it can it makes sense though, right? I mean, I mean it, just just from the fact that they have rights to Star Wars, some of them are still buried. When in are, when are they going to start calling it Twenty First Century Fox? They're not. That they made the decision not to do it. That's stupid. I think they'll be called Disney pretty soon though. <laughs> but but uh, Fox has some rights to. I think it just at, just the original Star Wars release. Yeah. I think they only have their claws on that, but they have the rights to. Uh, um, Vic's got a letter. Oh. Somebody needs to go to sleep, maybe. What's it say? November 6th, 2017. We would like to take the opportunity to thank you for being our guest. 
to ensure our safety, guys, oh, we'll be testing be fire alarm oh, systems no. between 11 a.m. Oh, it's tomorrow morning. You're okay. good. All right, we're fine. Cool. Yeah, just kidding. I, I was like, they're kicking us. It's gonna be like hotel. you're gonna need to shut your face because <laughs> we got people trying to sleep next door. It's not that late. It's, I know it's, it's 7:45. 7 7 it's fine. Um, okay, so uh, they have their claws into some Star Wars. Yeah. So now Disney. There's gets there's that back. some Marvel goodness. They have lots of Marvel goodness. Yeah. I'm wondering what Kevin Feige is thinking right now, right? Like, yeah. this is the Marvel, you know, the, the super producer that's overseeing all of these Marvel movies. He is making, their Professor X. Making a hit after a hit after a hit after it. Like, making after a miss. Doctor Strange a big blockbuster. Which like, we reviewed like a year ago. Yeah, like, how does that even happen? You know, how does that movie get made? Cumberbatch. And then it, it's a yeah. hit. You know, Come and it was back. good. It was a great movie. And Ant Man, you know, like these yeah. weird esoteric characters, and they turn them into these hit properties. And of course, Fox has Fantastic Four, but they also have the X Men franchise, yeah. and Deadpool, and we, all this we, stuff. We can get the Civil War movie we deserve. We can get, you know, they just had the other big event thing with the X Men versus the Avengers. Yeah. This is like next generation type stuff. This is like. I, you know, I, I feel like that's what Disney is doing. They're, just They're saying, adding tariff flops. Let's just bring it all <laughs> in so we can, you know, recast everybody because everybody's going like, to have to be younger for the, the new iterations. But this is, this is it. This is the next 50 years of content from Disney yeah. right there. It's like a fractured butthole version of <laughs> what Marvel is going to be. <laughs> the, the movie's there in the can. I mean, do you, are you, do you trust them with all of that power? With I mean, great power comes great responsibility. I was nervous when Disney bought Star Wars. Yeah. And then we saw that first Star Wars movie, and I was like, I'm good. And yeah. then Rogue One, I was like, you know what? Keep doing your thing. Yeah. You're, you're not yeah. making any mistakes yet. Yeah. Keep going what, in the right direction. What about what's happening around Han Solo? I and, mean, and then Episode Nine, they're bringing back JJ. Are you feeling maybe? They're beating the horse a little bit too much. Like it's gonna. Uh, we won't know until we see. Like I haven't. Yeah. I haven't looked at any of the trailers. Right. It's, it's how I feel. Like I, I was talking about it earlier. I haven't played Mario Odyssey. I saw the initial trailer when they announced Mario Odyssey. Yeah. And I've not. I've literally I haven't seen anything else. I can't put this iPad <laughs> up like this. It covers half <laughs> my face. That's amazing. <laughs> uh, but I haven't seen any. Like I haven't watched anybody streaming Mario Odyssey. I haven't seen anything okay. since the initial launch trailer of Mario Odyssey. Oh, good. That's because be. that's. I want to play it. Yeah. Star Wars, they could just thing. announce that it's a new. I, you already announced it. I'm in. Yeah. They showed off a trailer. I'm like, whatever. I don't need to see it. It's yeah. fine. Because it's didn't see Star any trailer. Nope. Nothing. Don't need to. I was at Celebration when they premiered the trailer, so I, that was exciting as hell. I was at Celebration when they premiered the first one. Chewie were home, and I was like, <laughs> okay, I'm so oh, in. I'm dude. so in. And that I was is like, a, that's magic. That Did was they pretty. Give you guys posters or anything like that after that? Uh, I think they gave out posters, but I was just like, I don't really care because oh, I don't yeah. want it to get damaged. And care. Okay, gotcha. Um, but this, the latest trailer which is amazing i didn't see it i i had purposefully kept yeah my Why? eyes shut i didn't want to look at it at all but everybody's talking about this little porgy thing or a little whatever it is yeah, but then it was in, in front of thor ragnarok the screening that johnny and i just went to go mm. review the movie and of course they had the big so it's gonna be like this no, I, I, just, I watched it it's amazing it looks <laughs> incredible I'm not going to tell you about it. I know. I know how you. I know. Feel. There's a there's a Millennium Falcon in there. Yes. Ray's going to be there. It's going to yeah. be Finn. Well, there's someone's going to die. It's it it. They're really trying to you know poke at who is dark. You know who's the dark side. Here. Yeah. Who, who, what if it was who, Ray? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it's about it, it's about the mystery and people may not be who you think they are. I think Finn and Ray are going to end up fighting. You think? Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, he can wield a lightsaber just as well as she could. And then you got Mark Hamill in there. Who's the last Jedi? I don't know. I have no clue. I don't want to know anything. You know, like I haven't seen any of this. They're probably yeah, like explains it. I don't want to know either, and I don't even want to get into this conversation. I know it's exactly fine. what you're talking about. Yeah. I keep hearing about it. I, you know, I was at a, a at a thing that may be tangentially related to Star Wars. <laughs> Well, there were lightsabers, um, and and everybody was talking about the movie and and uh, you know getting into spoiler chatter. And I'm like, I don't want to, guys, just shut up. Yeah. It's a month away. Do you guys feel the same? Yes. I hope. I mean, I some do. people like Johnny is like he likes to dig into all the hypotheses and the, and the secrets, the mythos, and the leaks yeah, and everything. He just likes to know all of that stuff, and that would drive me nuts, man. I don't want to know all yeah. that stuff. If it's a movie that I couldn't care less about, I'm like, yeah. ah, it's fine. Yeah. But the fact that it's a Star Wars movie that I know I'm going to see, yes, there's absolutely no need for me to watch a trailer. Like, my, and to my eyes, the perfect trailer that has ever been released was the original few or 
few trailers, but the original few trailers, even though the movie wasn't good, yeah. uh, Anchorman 2, yeah. when they would just walk out and say something stupid, and then they just did like three or four different versions of that. Yeah. Don't show me the movie. Yeah. Just like, here we are. We're back again. Yeah. We're going to we're gonna do that, another movie. That works for comedies, but people have to see. No, the, you the could do that for Star If all you need to do is like, the Star Wars music, Star Wars logo, name of the movie, Last yeah. Jedi, yeah. and then the name, it's the day it's released, <laughs> and people are people are gonna be like, I, I need to see a porgy, I need yeah. to order a porgo, whatever the hell the thing's yeah. called. Yeah. I need to see, you know, I need to see something. No, you don't. I mean, when you think of Star Wars, you think, yeah, that is totally marketing proof, right? Like, you don't really have to do anything. You do nothing. I think there's just the expectation that money needs to be spent in that way because they got to show that they have lots of money That's to market it, but. You don't. It's pre-sold. Like, everybody's yeah. in. I mean... For the it, second part of the trilogy, <laughs> right. everybody's in. Every single yeah. person is... There's not going to be one person who's like, maybe I'll give it a try. After well, seeing the trailer, I'm like, I've, I've never seen the Star Wars Ka movie. Kathleen Kennedy was on the Star Wars show. Uh, Anthony Carboni hosts that show. Yeah. You know Anthony? Yeah. Great dude. And I like that show, too. They do a great job with that show. But she was on the show uh, talking about the future of... Uh, Star Wars standalones, and she was saying that they're going to be doing standalone Ray, standalone Poe, standalone Finn, standalone BB-8 movie. Wow! Could you, could you, what, what would a standalone? Oh, wow! Could you, could you, for the audience, perform for everyone <laughs> a standalone BB-8 film? Well, I, you got to. I mean, first off, how do you just jump to standalone BB-8 and not do a standalone R2 movie? But. I, like, what the know. hell was R2 doing in I, between I episode know. three and episode four? I don't know. How did Obi-Wan forget who the hell R2 was? It's <laughs> like, what the? <laughs> come on, you were around that droid, you <laughs> idiot. The old, well, how come uh, he, look at this he, droid. He had rocket boots uh, in, in uh, the prequels yeah. and then could not help himself in any way after that. And so and can we talk about how in episode three, between episode four, there was about, what, 20 years, I think, that went by? Yeah. How did Yoda age so terribly in those 20 years? <laughs> when he was like 850 <laughs> in the original trilogy, and he's jumping around to him back, and he hits 900, he's like, Arr, maybe they, look, this he, good at he, 900. He, he couldn't get the cream on Dagobah. <laughs> he couldn't get it. He's just like, get the, the face cream. Yeah. They just didn't ship. You know, like, FedEx doesn't go there. Yeah. So he was screwed. He couldn't have his facelift yes. action anymore. Yes. But he aged terribly in those 50 years. But he got to 850 like a boss. So uh, Taz is avoiding everything from the new Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Smart man. Uh, what do you guys think? Are you psyched for Disney buying up the Fox properties? Fox actually has been kicking some butt. Deadpool and Logan were great. And yeah, I actually didn't mind. Because they took the risk of rated R. Um, uh, this is a controversial statement, but I didn't mind X-Men Apocalypse. It wasn't the worst. Didn't see it. It was pretty good. Yeah. There's some, some cheese in it for sure. Of course. Um, but it was kind of cool. There was some cool stuff in it, you know? Yeah. Well, and until they, liked, if they would have made me an X-Men, maybe I would have went and seen it. But. I liked First Class. Thought that was I did. I enjoyed out. First Class. And what was the second one? There was another one in the uh, second class? What was that? <laughs> yeah. What was the uh, what so second period? Uh, second period. What, what was the uh, Vic, Vic, fix your mic. Guys, that's it. That's all the juice <laughs> we got. All right. We're running this out of Vic's mic's broken. IPhone. That's it. That's all we got. Sorry. You guys just have to turn it up a little bit. First class was great. What was the what was the next one that they did? Uh, oh, that was Days of Future Past. I yeah. love that movie. That was great. Twas, I know, I know twas also awesome. I missed Apocalypse because of uh, just like my, I didn't I didn't get the chance to see it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just, just skipped it. Uh, I know p people have a problem with Days of Future Past, and it's not really it doesn't adhere to the storyline from the comics and all that stuff. I wasn't reading the X Men stuff back then, so Kay. it was just you didn't have a giant a iPad back then. Didn't yeah. have a giant iPad. Now yes. you do. Yes. Uh, so I really liked that movie, and I thought Apocalypse wasn't as good as either of those, but it was it was pretty solid. It was pretty good. Uh, but Fox, I think, is turning their ship around, you know? Like, let's see what the Gambit movie turns out. Yeah, Deadpool 2. I mean, if this stuff is true, though, Fox might be Disney by that point, by yeah. next year. Well, hopefully they invite me back to the junket for that so I can hang out with Ryan Reynolds and T.J. Miller again because <laughs> that was awesome last time. Ryan Reynolds was actually asking on Twitter today what this means for Deadpool 2. Mm. Based on this news, because you know, because he's got a big chunk of Deadpool in his life. I, I mean, it took so Disney, long to get that first would movie. Disney going. make an R-rated Deadpool movie, mm. right? Mm. Does that fit with what Disney? Yeah, has who's planned? gonna be? Yeah, I right. didn't. I didn't even think of that. Is our, do, does Disney, Disney? Disney makes some R-rated stuff. Do they? They got to maybe through other labels, maybe. Yeah, but I mean, so if they're gonna do it through other labels, they should do it through Fox. I would. I think you'd keep it like Disney. Well, Marvel. I guess they would just go under the umbrella, right? Yeah. When you see a Marvel movie, you don't see the Disney stuff all over. You just see Marvel. 
Yes. Right. So we're just it would yeah they, I'm sure they would be able to keep the R rated there. I mean we had Stanley in a strip club. X two was amazing. Blade Blur. That's one of my favorite superhero movies. Yes. That was incredible. Our old cameraman's in that movie. Yeah. Glenn Glenn Lohe. No Go. Glenn Taylor. Uh, he's he's holding the camera in the White House, uh, shooting the president. Uh, On the camera. With the video, yes. And uh, as uh, Nightcrawler's flipping and flying all through there. And, and Boom. Out. That was an incredible That's why Vic loves scene. it so much. Well, it's got it was, EP representation I, inside of Nightcrawler it. Nightcrawler was perfect in that movie. Yeah. It was so cool. Alan know, Cumming. When he jumps out of so the... So good. Uh, uh, jumps out of the plane and saves Rogue and jumps back in. I screamed. I was like, wow, that was amazing. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. It's amazing. That was like, that's an impression of me seeing X2 right there. <laughs> it is. It's just <laughs> awesome. <laughs> uh... Uh, Vic's mic is all right channel Jose's that's what it is that's what it is guys we're stereo because we've got a split thing here that splits the audio so it's my microphone that's like Vic's, it's because Vic's standing on my wire if you're, li- if you're listening to this on a mono device you might not be getting both channels and if your device has mono you should get that checked out <laughs> yeah it's not good for your device to have mono so generally I think you and I approve of Disney buying Fox. It does. I mean, it doesn't affect me unless they want to throw me some change. Then maybe I'll swindle my vote. I'm like, I don't think every deal is going to throw you some change. I know, but I, I I'm some hustling, deals, Vic. Some deals, it's the hustle, bro. It never ends. hustle. I know. Some deals happen where you're not going to get any change. Yeah, from I'll you. make me an ancillary X-Men character. I'll be like the small, like I'll be the small bit character. Okay, all right. Uh, but I think we can both sign on the deal that they they, they yeah. go for. Under how you, much I want to get paid for it. You are approved to go forward with your deal, Disney. Yeah. You Disney? can buy Fox. But I was thinking today, and I, I definitely, Make it so. I definitely want to hear from people, because they own a lot of other IP, right? They sure. Own, um, I think they own Die Hard. They own Predator. Die Hard movies, and Predator, and Aliens, yeah. and Planet of the Apes. Uh, and that's, I don't know, there's probably millions of other things. But think about all of the ways that those could all be integrated with the other... All they, get, right. all, they, all they need to know is they, they get 20th Century Fox, they get Universal, and then they just r- own everything. Well, if Warner Brothers has the... I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. The DC stuff and the, and the Justice League. I mean, League Marvel and, can't own DC. I know, I know. Well, that, you, it's a dream you're... Disney owns... Could own Fox. Disney owns Marvel and Star Wars. I mean... So you you're, li- you're living in this dream world where a monopoly Crazy. is run. Oh, they own The Simpsons. They own The Family Guy. Oh, my God. No more Hugh Jackman for No more Hugh Jackman. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that dude ran the course, though. If anybody crushed a character, as well as like Robert Downey does Iron Man. He. That that's actually a very interesting thing because he has said that he would come out of retirement if he could be Wolverine with the Avengers. That's what this door completely opens up. Yeah. It opens up like and the Civil War movie. People want like people saw Civil War and they wanted I feel, what they had in the comics. Like, I feel everyone. like we're getting told about this deal potentially happening for this reason. Just before, the so Hugh second. Jackman can keep doing crunches. <laughs> so just stay Hugh Jacked, man. Hugh Jackman. He's a huge Jacked <laughs> man. Stay in the gym. <laughs> He's, get back to the gym, yeah. Hugh Jackman. Hugh, no, I feel like Hugh, you need to get back into the gym, buddy. I get it. I think the 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 fourth Avengers movie, not the one that's coming out next year, but yeah. the next one. We'll have the X Men in it, and Hugh Jackman will become storming to the screen. And He's going to be a huge jacked man. Yes, again, right? wouldn't yeah. that be amazing? I would be in. I'm right. in. I'm yes. already in. That's awesome. So again, sign and that then deal. What Let's do you do from there? That's it, right? Like, no man. What happens after that? You keep reintroducing new characters. I guess you, you know? start from scratch. I mean, look what they yeah. did with like Guardians of the Galaxy. You can mix them, throw them into the mix. And yeah, there's they're crushing it on the movie front. Yeah, Just they are crushing it. We got yeah, Justice League's coming out in a couple weeks. Can't wait to see what the hell that happened. Like, how expensive would that be to have all of those, all of those X Men people, all of the Marvel? I mean, people? look at the what Days of Future's Past had so many. I mean, granted, they weren't all the big, you know, characters yeah. that we've known and loved, but yeah. there's a lot of characters. They made that work. Yeah, they did. So I can, I will make it all happen. That'd These be, guys need to be willing to work together. That would be insane. Dream team. Yes. Dream team. Everybody gets to say one word. <laughs> And then uh, we all are here together <laughs> as one team. <laughs> and we, it's like, <laughs> two hours of that. <laughs> Man, there are a lot of actors in this movie. <laughs> we sure are tired of this conversation. I couldn't even get the whole word conversation. Civil, Civil War work, Blade Blur says. Yes, you're right. Absolutely. I just watched that again. And I just watched uh, 
Spider-Man Homecoming again, and God, that movie's incredible. It's so good. I love the... the I think that might be like the last movie I've seen in the theater. That's well, how long it's been since I've been to the theater. The, the whole sequence where he's shooting the fight off of his phone and he's making a vlog <laughs> of what's going down in the airport. It's I mean, incredible. they crushed it. They really did. They, they crushed it. He's a solid Spider-Man. He's like, why am I here in Germany? I don't know. You got your suit on? Get your suit on. Get your, <laughs> let, let's go. We're going to go to the airport. Why are we going to the airport? And he gets into the fight. It was awesome. They did such a great job yeah. with that thing. I hope they can continue to run with yes. that awesome style of Spider-Man. Yes. So what have you got coming up now? What's what's next on your plate for gaming? And we're going to talk about the Xbox One X. Yeah. So I'm going to dive into that. I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to come back with a report. Okay. Uh, I'm going to start streaming Mario hopefully soon. Okay. Uh, if my Xbox One X is here when I get home. Yeah. Uh, then it, it might be game over. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be the end. I'm going to be streaming me hooking that up tonight. <laughs> Um, let's see what else. I finished a lot of games like recently. Yeah. So I'm excited to, um, to maybe, chill a little bit. Maybe chill, but like I mean, there's still new games coming out. Tuesday, tomorrow's new game day. What games coming out soon? Uh well, Star Wars Battlefront two comes out. It does, like real soon. A uh, couple weeks. Two weeks, the seventeenth, right? Yeah. I think so. And it's the sixth. Yeah. Yeah. So it's like two, eleven days away. Shit. That's coming up quick. Is that the last big one? We got we have the no. VR, uh, the VR titles from Bethesda are coming, and the and the Switch ports of Doom. I'm really eager to check that There's out. There's got to be some other big. I'm, uh, what sucks is like a oh you know, Xenoblade uh, Xenoblade Chronicles, Chronicles yeah on, on the, the Switch, Switch. Um, but I mean like tail ending your year with you know or book ending your years with Zelda to Mario. It's like Nintendo solid, ridiculous solid job, and it just goes to prove like you don't need all the teraflops. To yeah. make your game look yeah. and play off. From yeah. what I've heard, that's all, all I've heard is inklings from Mario. I love me some Zelda. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah, you know, like, I did Shadow of War, did Wolfenstein, Mario's on the horizon. Oh, I want, Sonic Forces. It's like out Sonic Force. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I want to uh, check that out. Yeah, the last Sonic game was pretty good. Um, and then, I want you know what I want to do? I want to go back and play some games I missed. Because yeah. I missed some pretty big games. Did you check out Persona 5? No, no Persona or 5. Mario horizon. Automata. I still need to play Horizon. And Horizon, yeah, and that, the which DLC, came out the same. I have the DLC for that. Well, I think they have uh, like the Ultimate Collector Edition of Horizon is coming out like soon or okay. something like the final edition. I don't know if it's the final, but like the best edition. Very cool. I like to play more Destiny Two because I've been playing that. Yeah. I finished the campaign for that on PS4, and I just did the campaign for PC. Yeah. Uh, so what are you gonna do? Are you gonna continue on PS4? Or are you gonna continue on your PC? Man, I've grown so just accustomed to that mouse and keyboard controller and you can use that with the xbox one x is what i'm yeah, hearing you can connect yeah. them up so i might have to get disney I, on my xbox I, I, I mean i think that you have sort of gravitated over to the pc which is crazy because the whole time i've known you you've never been a pc game well because i didn't have a pc that was powerful enough to play these things now you play these things like crazy on the pc and now i have I i've seen the, the xbox light. one x is going to be as big of a deal for you and that saddens me, but I, you know what? I, I do love me some trophies. I love me some achievement points, so yeah. that's why I still stick to my console games when I get the chance to. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, kudos to all the publishers and the PR people that, you know, have sent me codes and games throughout the year, so I get to keep playing all these games a lot of the time. Yeah. But sometimes when I hunker down and I buy a game, now I'm just like, well, shit, do I want to buy it on a console or do I want to buy it on the PC? Yeah, Steam yeah. sales. Yeah. <laughs> they give it those humble bundle sales. I and know. I'm like, ooh, it's I can get 20 really, games for $6? It's really hard to compete with that, right? Yeah. And they get out, they get... They get almost everything. They get almost everything. Almost, except for that exclusive stuff, which is like, okay, but even some of the Xbox stuff, it's like yeah. Gears of War 4 was like, I play it on this, I play it on that. I'm like, yeah. oh, shit, all right. Yeah. I play a little on the console, and then I'm going to play it on the PC. I'm like, yeah. oh. And it was it was 4K a year ago on the, con on the PC. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, well, all right. Yeah. That works for me. Big fan of that. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, Sean Lysak's got a great a great comment right here but to, to talk about the Last of Us 2 trailer. Did you see that? Nope. Saw the first one. That's all I needed to say. Okay. You're, so you're in. Yeah. Okay. I did see it, and it was uh, brutal. Uh, Spelunky 2, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just that's talk about coming, that. That's coming. Yeah, they but, announced Spelunky fucking 2. But the <laughs> the trailer for The Last of Us 2. Not Last uh, of Us 2. Spelunky 2, man. It is incredibly controversial because of the, uh, the crazy amounts of uh, out-of-context violence that's in it. Uh, you don't know the characters. You don't know what's happening with the story. It's just okay. a shitty rainy night, and people are just getting bludgeoned and beat up and shot in the so face. So like Dead Rising. <laughs> uh, well, it's like Last of Us, too. I mean, it's like The Last of Us, and, and uh, it is that vibe, but it's, it, you know, I don't know if it was because it was at the Paris Games Week is where the trailer sort of launched, and it was oh, okay. later in the day, and so it popped up fairly early, at least on the West Coast. 
um, in the morning. So like it was like enjoying your of, coffee and then yes. bloodshed and mayhem Honestly, and video it was games. Like one of the first things that I think a lot of people were checking out on that day is like, holy shit, you know, like it was, this cereal is delicious, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, what's that? Is? I mean, it's it's really bleak and dark, and I I, I feel like. Um, I mean that's what the game is. It represents what the game is, but it's yeah. Sometimes it's just really hard to get into that mindset. <laughs> you know, it's just like wow. especially the way the first it, it game snippet. started. Yeah, you know, yeah, and it started off rough, and it was just like, oh man, things are happening. And there's some yeah. even in a game like Assassin's Creed Origins, there's some stuff that happens in that game. Yeah. I don't know if you've gone through it yet. Which one? Assassin's Creed Origins. Yeah. You finished the whole thing? Like no. The, oh, okay. No. Well, there's some there's some stuff like later in the game. You're just like I I was like I was playing this game and I'm like. Is it dusty? Oh, is, it, is it dusty? That's like Vic's, awesome. Vic's gonna hate this part of this game. <laughs> Vic is going to hate this part of this video game. So just wait. You'll see. Oh, I've saw, I saw some some very bleak and heavy things that I hated in that game. Like yeah. Emotionally, absolutely riveting stuff. Yeah. They, yeah. They've done, I think, some pretty big leaps with storytelling with the around the Assassin's Eagles Creed. Flight. Eagles jumps. Yeah. About eagle leaps. jumps. Yeah. Eagle eagle jumps. Uh, by tr- you know trimming it down, I thought that with Black Flag as well. You know, like yeah. they they still had too many characters and too much stuff, but it just felt more cohesive. And the Assassin's Creed games have gotten so cluttered and so junky. And that's what I really enjoyed about Origins. I think yeah. I think like they didn't throw. S- I mean, there's a lot of characters in the game, but you w- didn't have to remember like what the hell did this guy do? Yeah. And there's like okay, here's like there's ten big bad guys. Yeah. Eh, and there's this is your squad. You're gonna run at this person every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. This person's gonna help you. And be like, and then just go and explore pyramids. Yeah. I'm like okay, I'm in. and just fill the world with lots of things that would give you all kinds of uh, you know crazy new directions to yeah. go. And then the end of the game, I was like, yes, that's and what I that's what I wanted it to be. Yeah. It was like it delivered what I wanted, and now there's so much more that I haven't done, a little side quest and yes. stuff. And I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, but I love it's, it's it's a really really solid game. They did an amazing job with that. Mm-hmm. But you still like Shadow of War better. Yeah, I mean, it had Fubar in it, man. I came into uh, two characters named Fubar, and they sang my praises. <laughs> Fu, ba, Fu, ba. And I'm like, all right, that's it. That's the best character in any video game. Chris Lucchio is asking, is 4K worth it? That's a that's a big. Are, are, you don't have 4K. You have a 4K in the living room. Is that yeah. where your TV's gonna? Is that where your Xbox One X? Is well, that's where I'm first gonna hook it up. Okay. I'm gonna hook we'll it up on that to see it. So then I'm like, you oh. know what? We'll talk about that next week. That's a good question for next week because sure. this is your first real at home on the television entree into 4K gaming yeah, and 4K movie watching now, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I can already watch, like, Netflix stream some movies in 4K. On your on 4K like, TV. Okay, yeah. okay, so you've got a little bit of that already. Yeah. Uh, I feel, Marco Polo? Holy shit. I, I feel like it's it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. It's not just the one. It's, it's not, not as bad TV. now, though. It's come down, yeah. It's not just the TV. It's all the componentry. I saw some I saw it. some sales that were like five, 600 bucks for yeah, 4K TV. Yeah, it's come down, for sure. Because two years ago, it was like $25,000. You can yeah. get yourself a nice 40-inch 4K. I'm like, nah, yeah, yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. Then a year that goes by, and it's like, well, now it's only $7,000. Now it's like, well, now you can get it for 600 bucks. I mean, it really, I think it comes up it comes down to the individual, right? Like, what do you... Sure. What do you want to spend your money on? Do you want to have this clarity and this visual bump? It yeah. isn't like there is a again. If you have a CRT, it's time to <laughs> upgrade. Yeah, honestly, if you're in, if it's time for a TV, get a 4K television. Sure, and spend a little bit more so that it doesn't go out of get a warranty. Yeah, get a warranty and get a, spend Couple a little years. bit more money so you get something that you really like and is going to be with you for the next ten yeah. years. Or so. What you want to do is get a two-year warranty, yeah. around a year and three quarters. Take that shit back and get a new TV, <laughs> and you'll be good. It's uh, spoken like a real hustler, <laughs> my friend. Uh, but yeah, weigh the, to save you weigh the pros and cons of the cost on, on all of that stuff. But it, if it's time for a TV change. If you have a really old one. If enough TV, is enough and it's time for a change. If you've got one of those old, like, project from the back of the TV, and it's, <laughs> it's huge and heavy. I had one of those. And it, Me too. And, it, and it's, it is 16 by 9, and, it's, and it is HD, but it's just this clunky old horse of a machine. Yeah. Then it's probably time to upgrade. And if that is the case, then you want to do a 4K upgrade because you want to have a little bit of future-proofing. Yeah. And, and the prices and, have come down. And especially if you're going to – th- if you have a – PS4 Pro or an Xbox One X. Yeah, there's no question. You should absolutely well, have it. If not, just keep buy the old one. Yes. Don't buy the yeah, Xbox One X. I feel like I feel like you. Yeah, sh- I mean, they don't, say don't th- buy the machines, even if they're telling you in the marketing, and they do benefit the 1080p resolution for sure. So 
maybe you want to get the system and have it ready for when you do go to 4K. Yeah. Don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. Just wait until – because the price on the – machines are going to come down sure and the price on the tvs yeah, it, it, are going to come down and if you're down. worried about the price of the newer consoles then you don't even have the tv yet you yeah. wait for both and they'll both be cheaper soon. yes and they'll both be better and there will be more software the ps4 and the xbox one as they stand right now are absolutely fine fantastic they look great on 1080p sources and you're going to get tons of great gaming out of it the switch doesn't do 4k at all and it's a beautiful machine and it handles how does it look on 4k looks great yeah. on my 4k but uh it can it, it, it some 4k tvs do a better job uh, of uh uh pushing a 4k a, a 1080p image to 4k okay. of up resing or whatever they call it uh but i yeah i've been extremely happy with my 4k tv and the 4k gaming that i've done but i am totally cognizant of how much extra expense it is yeah and honestly we were talking about a a um a texture and a, and a resolution upgrade you know it's not like it's not night and day it's not like oh my god i, I can find it's not see, revelatory i see colors yeah. for the first time you know it's not like if you're a colorblind person and <laughs> yeah. you buy a 4k tv you can all of a sudden see all the color yes you know and you're Which not, sucks and i'm it's, sorry and it's are. not it's not like um, everything's full 3d and you can reach into the screen or anything like that it just is prettier and and sharper and cleaner and uh you know frankly 8k is coming you know <laughs> And uh, it's like winter. Yeah, <laughs> this is like the stark version of monitors. So if 8K is coming, if you are saving your money, or if you if you have, you know, quite smartly recognize that you can just game with the current systems, the existing PS4 and Xbox One, and um, uh, stockpile Again, software get that, that will warranty. be enhanced. <laughs> get that warranty. You'd be fine. Totally find fine. a place where you can buy a TV with a few years of warranty so when that 8K comes around the corner, you can just switch it out. Yeah. It's it's a complicated question because, you know, like I, I didn't need a 12-inch iPad, but I wanted something big for comic books. And there's times, I think, in every one of our lives where it's like this is a stupid thing for me to spend my money on, but it, it feels like I really want to have this and I yeah. really want to enjoy this now. I, yeah, I mean, enjoy it while you can, man. I mean, you know? life isn't forever, and sometimes that money is meant to be spent on, on living. On stuff that's going to make your comic books look better than ever. Yeah. How What's the resolution? It's not 4K, right? It's not like I Retina? It's, like the super, retina. it's the Retina. It's the Retina. Yeah, whatever yeah. it is. It's Retina. Okay. You kind of want it now, don't you? Uh, it's you very wanna, nice. You want to read comics? <laughs> it is very nice. I would read all the comic books. <laughs> I still get physical comic books sent to my house, but I only subscribe to the uh, Big Trouble in Little China comics. I, I mean, I feel bad that I don't read paper comics anymore, and I go. I love going into comic stores, but I, I, the price is way better on these, and also the, the, the convenience of just having. Like, but comics, some comics nowadays come. With, some comics come with like a digital code for That's the. That's the way they all should. Yeah. Like, honestly, the entire comic industry should make that change immediately they should look at the, the music business and say we can't have these stumbles we just have to kind of move towards yeah. this progressive digital age if people would prefer to read them on there uh, you know what i'm surprised that marvel hasn't said let's make our own tablet or let's make our own comics well they have an app yeah i know but they, there's like a business to be made there you know, Isn't it just like you pay a certain amount a month? You can read all the Marvel comics. Yeah, they you? have the comics unlimited, but you can also buy the per issues and all that stuff. The comics unlimited is not uh, day and date. It's not like it's not. Mm. It's not. It's like six. It's not months like Apple ago. Music. Yeah, six months ago they or for six months earlier type of uh, issues and stuff like that appear. Mm -hmm. Plus, lots of old classic issues, which is really amazing. You're never going to run out of cool things to read with that Marvel app. It's fantastic. It's like a hundred bucks a month, a hundred bucks a year. <laughs> and, Jesus and, Christ! And, it's like a hundred bucks a month for my twelve thousand dollar iPad. It's fine. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, no, it's about a hundred bucks a year, and you get you know all you can eat off of the off of the app. And there are tons of great discoveries. You're never going to run out of books there. But imagine if Marvel had a tablet that you know it had it just, it all, had every issue day and date and. You, you know, you paid 400 bucks or something for the tablet, and then you you uh, gave them 50 bucks a year, and you had the whole subscription. That'd be a huge business for them. Yeah, but I think they'd lose a lot of money. Well, they, you know what? They would lose a lot of friends in the comic mm -hmm. store business. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. be like, well, here's our Marvel section. It's just a tablet. <laughs> it's like when you go into Barnes & Nobles now, it's just one Kindle. Yeah. You're just like, well, all the, Pretty books, much. All the books are on this little way. Yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. awesome. Uh, okay. Uh, I think that's good for uh, our impromptu. If you guys have, 
you know what? Well, if you've got a question, we'll just keep chatting for a couple more minutes. Yeah, I'm sorry. If you if you have a question or two, just write it in all caps so we can see it nice and clearly, and uh, we can see it nice and clearly on Vic's giant monitor that covers his face. And we will answer. Okay, let's see. I'll I'll go through the comments here and see if there's uh, through through the chat and see if anybody's asked us any questions. Sorry, that's totally covering my face. I'll just go to the chat. <laughs> You need to get, you know, you need to get, you know, like how people, when you go to like a sporting event, so they have like the cutouts of the person's face. Yeah. You just get your face on the back of it so you can just so, hold it up. Um, okay. Uh, last of Us 1, we're talking about the trailer. I want to go there. back, because when is last, last of Us 1, or Last of Us 2 comes out next year? Yeah. Late or early next year? They haven't put a date they haven't yet. haven't put a date? Yeah. So I'll go, I'm going to go back and play through that. Oh, yeah. The remastered yes. one. Because I didn't play the, I played the original one, but I haven't played the remastered well, one. Well, uh, now that you're going to have the X, are you going to get the Pro and and make your move to 4K? Is that is that imminent it's now? It's still tough, man. Because all of those games are up uh, yeah. the Pro as well, right? I mean, but all the games that I, that's the thing, like all the games I have now look great. Like I didn't get the Xbox One S. A Adam, I still the Xbox One, yeah. Day One Edition. Yeah, yeah. So I was You're like a bigger a, Xbox guy, aren't you? I mean, I was, because I had you, all the achievement you, points. You bleed Xbox. Adam uh, Trish, Trischuk. Uh, thoughts on The Gifted and The Inhumans? I have not seen either one of those shows, and I really want to. I can't keep up, man. They're I saw the animated Inhumans. I did a story. I went to Marvel like, years ago. Fat, oh, yeah? Fat Me went to Marvel. Awesome. To talk to some of the guys over there. Awesome. Uh, for the like Inhumans digital short. The one they did that was like the uh, was the Paul, Watchmen. Was Paul Jenkins one of the guys that you saw? No. About? No? Okay. No. It was like one of the big dudes. Okay. One of like, the bigger guys. Okay. Joe Quesada? No, it wasn't Joe. Okay. JQ. I saw him at New York Comic Con, though. Nice. Awesome dude. Nice. Kevin Smith too. Nice. Sweetheart of a guy, man. Yeah. I had a good, I had a really good New York Comic Con. It was yeah. really good. It's been a while since I've been. Like I went to New York Comic, like one of the first ones where they honored like Stan Lee. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, but this one was like a super. Oh, they've grown up. Yeah. New York Comic Con. It's hasn't, huge it's now. It's so big. I know. I that honestly, that was the first con that I've ever gone to where I I was nervous in the uh, hallways because it was so crowded. Yeah. It, not in in the floor, not the show floor. That's crowded, but manageable but in the hallways to get to the floor in the Javits Center it's like the Javits Center was bursting at the seams oh and the, I was there was so a lot worried. of angry there was a lot of angry people trying to get in this year too and I was so worried that something bad was gonna like somebody was pulling out like pull a fire alarm or whatever <laughs> and there was no room to move I was legitimately it's, nervous. it's still like that uh, yeah. but there's a lot more content there this yeah. year yeah yeah uh, that's a great show. But yeah, um, but yeah, just going back to the Inhumans, it's like they're they did the when the Watchmen came out, they did like a stop motion comic <laughs> version of it. We got a great question from Francis FX Wells. What is this stream about? <laughs> that well, this was our Seinfeld episode. Yeah. This was our, 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 <laughs> this was our chatting about uh, stuff. What is going on? <laughs> what is this stream about? Uh, and then we got like Timberwolf. Tell us about the Rocket and Raygun Awards this year. Uh, we're still kind of figuring it out. Boobs will be involved. I think Johnny will be there. Right. Uh, I think we'll probably get Bear and Blake involved as well. And uh, I don't know about the rest of the team yet. Um, yeah. I still have to kind of talk about it with them because uh, – Everyone's busy, man. Well, everybody's busy, but there's there's a lot of consulting that's happening right now with with some sure. of the people, and and so that means that they're working specifically with different publishers on specific projects and things, and that makes it a little bit more muddy when you're talking about uh, yeah wrap ups for the. So, Marissa, tell me about your favorite PlayStation game. <laughs> <laughs> exactly right, things like that. So, um, uh, you, I have not determined exactly what what we're going to do with it but we will definitely have the rocket and ray guns and we will definitely uh give our awards for the best and i think i'd like to put uh, uh some kind of a holiday gift guide thing together probably next week we'll just go through all the stuff and I, i'm the thinking, ipad large ipads and xbox one X, <laughs> 4k tvs this, this is this is not for everybody this is crazy sure. look at how big this thing is it's <laughs> insanity i i've pulled this out for the airports uh, people are going through it and they're like, is that your laptop? It's like, no, it's an iPad. iPad? I've never seen an <laughs> iPad that big before. It's it's kind of nuts. Uh, is this Vic, is this uh, this podcast called Vic's Foyer? Foyer. Foyer. Or Foyer. Vic's um, Foyer. Uh, sure. Yeah, for this episode, absolutely. Uh, and that was from uh, Sean again. That was Sean Lyson. Opinion on the Activision loot box Rocket. patent. Uh, Activision uh, has a loot box patent? Yeah, bringer of, uh, bringer of rain. Uh, six. six. Yeah, the, six. The, the loot box um, patent. This I, I don't know if you heard about this, but I they, did not. They uh, they were patenting uh, technology that would allow people 
to show off the benefits of their loot box gains to other people that did not have them. So they, they would basically be watching people collect the, the loot and then use it in the game and then be um, sort of encouraged to participate in their uh, So like you box. and me are playing and I yeah. get a box and I open it up in yeah. front of you and you're just so, like, yeah. you just got that sweet helmet. Yes, yeah, so you and get to I, use I it. And, and, and it was sort of an algorithm to kind of constantly do that and push that information out so that, you know, to bring people together that one person had cool stuff and the other one didn't. And so you would covet. And, and I wish there was some kind of – can somebody just invent, like, a trading system or something? I mean, I know, like, you can sell, like, skins or you can sell – but, like, if I – oh, I got this sweet helmet. I got another one. I can scrap it or I can sell it to a store. Can I, like, gift it to a friend and be like, I, you know what? You don't have this helmet. I, I do. I don't know if they can do that within a game because then I think that opens up all kinds of commerce issues. You I know, guess. I mean, for people selling it, sure. Yeah, right. But, I mean, there's value. With it. Like, you can look online. People are buying all kinds but of stupid – But they're doing shit. it through uh, – third-party apps and third-party devices. Yeah. They're not doing it Well, there should the just be a gift only. A gift to friend. Well, frankly... I guess it could be good still I sell it, I guess. AAA should have one price, and you have to earn everything in the game. And there shouldn't be spending extra money and to that's, buy the That's stuff. one of the things that you know people were complaining about for a game like Shadow of War, like yeah. the loot crate. But I'm like, you earn currency in the game. Yeah. You know, I, I didn't... I beat the entire well, story campaign I, of that game. I never felt compelled to want to buy stuff because I always felt like... I would be killing enemies, and yeah. then you can upgrade yourself to where like you unlock better things as you kill more enemies, and it's just like I just, I, there's no push for me to want to buy anything. I keep the more I level up, the better stuff I'm getting. I don't need to get and, there faster because and you I, know what? There's an argument to be made for people that are busy and they just want to get that cool stuff, and they'll spend the money sure. and they'll buy it, and they have a legitimate right to think like that. And also, the publisher has a legitimate right to say, uh, "Look, we're a business, and if people want to spend that money, and we have the platform to create." I just that. hate when the blame is thrown. I, I it's just it's, feel it's like a tough thing for me to throw the blame or the shame at people when it's just like, look, you can just play the game. Granted, if you want to beat the game faster yeah. and you want to purchase your way to do that, fine. But why would you want to decrease the experience that you're going to get? Well, and you're also knocking off millions of dollars for each of these publishers as well, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, so I can we can all understand why it's being done, but I think probably everybody watching this, everybody that's been playing games for a long time. We all feel the same that we wish it could go back. We wish that yeah. the, the steps to go <laughs> back to just buying a game and it's all on the disc and it isn't about this this uh, trying to find a way to earn from you forever. It's so funny because I was I was thinking something when we were talking on the podcast last week, mm. and I'm like, f- people understand like people are hating on loot boxes, but loot boxes go way back to yeah. like Mario. Yeah. Like Mario had to choose a chest. Yeah, you didn't know what was inside that chest. Yeah. You open up that chest, it's a fucking star. Well, yeah, y- y- I, I got mean, a flower. Yeah, awesome. I mean, Diablo is is all about the loot box. I mean that these are the that's the formation of the the, yeah. the word. But it's even Link had to choose which. It, it's changed as we've Heart monetized piece. it, though. It's changed as we've put a sure. monetary value on it. And that has been through the learnings of mobile, right? That's been through the learnings of free to play, and it's it's kind of cake and eat it too on the publisher side. I love cake; it's delicious. You can understand the Chocolate. business sense on it. You know, yeah. all of this DLC, all of this extra. I'm sure that original content. Legend of Zelda game is like, do you want a potion or a heart piece? What? Who's picking the potion? <laughs> yeah. Who's this? Who are the people out there that was like, you know what? I don't want a heart piece. Give me that potion. <laughs> Because that was just the worst decision making. I'm like, I don't know, what can we have these people choose between? I don't know, maybe like a potion that'll just give them hell, or yes. maybe like a whole heart container. Yeah. So like, I'm 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 so super torn. I like I, I care about these game companies too, right? Like, it's the publishers that have the money to afford creative people like Ash Ismail to push to have his visions and, and his team's vision to create an Assassin's Creed Origins. Yeah. They need to make their revenue. Even the, the new FIFA is mind-blowingly good. Like, FIFA 18 is so... So you have to play it. Giant Lou, I'm coming for you. They though. they have so much money on screen. You, you know that they're making a fortune on that game. Like, so much money. And you can see it in the game. They're not squandering it in the, like they're not saying, well, well, let's not let's just phone this in. Yeah. They made an amazing game with even Pro Evo, Evo. Pro right? Evo too, yes. man. And like, the exclusive teams. The Shadow of War is a good is, battle. Is a massive fun experience. So like I feel for the publishers, they got to figure out how to earn their revenue. But it just feels so insidious that they're using, you know, wealthy whales to find finance so much. Who doesn't love a wealthy whale? Yeah. Those are delicious. It, it just makes it all kind of weird. And um, 
you don't like it, don't buy it. You know what is what is good though is that this this discussion is happening and people are being very upfront about all of this stuff and pay to win is such a dirty phrase and a term and I think let's keep that up let's keep that discussion going and we see things like Star Wars Battlefront two learning from their beta and changing the way that their, their yeah. loot system is all working within their game um, you know like I think. We, as a, a, a collective of lifelong game players, need to make choices about when and where we spend the money and how we send signals back out to the publishers and developers. They're all listening. Not on you, Clash Royale. Everybody's Crushing me, man. It takes so long to get them coins. Clash Malachi Ro- Crunch needs the coins. Clash Royale has changed, I've heard. They've changed a lot in the way that They've they added a lot more free stuff. Yeah. Which I'm like, I'm a huge fan of. Because right? yes. the grind right now is I need like 50,000 coins to unlock all my things. I got everything is ready to be leveled up. I just don't have the coins for it, and I'm not spending any money. You got real problems. Though. I got first world hey, problems. Hey, thanks for being such a great moderator, man. You rock. Um, uh, we got another question in there, and I think that's going to be our last one. Uh, uh, is it over? Uh, bad <laughs> iPod audio. Is yeah. Story. Oh, somebody's laughing about that. Oh, what are we playing now from Soren Paulin? Um, so what are we playing now? What right are you now? playing now? You got the new con? You got a new Xbox? Um, I think what's next uh, is uh, Evil Within 2 I'm going to be playing now. Yeah. And I'll have a review for Star Wars Battlefront 2. Um, I've got a couple of Lego games that I've been playing that I want to get a review out there. I've played the Lego Ninjago game, and I've okay. got the Lego Worlds game. They've been on my Switch. I've been playing them on the road, and nice. and uh, I finally want to get that. And I've got the sports games. I've got NBA 2K. I've got FIFA, Madden, NHL, and... Uh, yeah, I have, I and, have Madden. And uh, uh, the Konami one, too. The, uh, P- 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 Pez. Yes. So I, I'll, I'll, I will probably sh- record a versus. I need to play a little more. I've played quite a bit of NBA 2K, on PS4 and on on uh, Switch. Oh, Switch, so I'm pretty close to being ready to go in front of the camera and talk about that game. I need nice. to play need to play more of all of the other sports games. So I've got probably I played a shit ton of Madden. I have an NHL, but I haven't loaded it up. You know what? Why don't we talk about Madden next week? Why don't you and I review Madden and the Xbox One next week? Madden is enhanced on Xbox One X. All right. Well, uh, when I'll play it on the Xbox One X. Okay. Anyway. That sounds good. Yeah. Sounds awesome. Okay. Cool. Let's do it. Uh, Business and, meetings. And what we will Production also meeting. be doing is uh, playing a lot of Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah. Yes. I, I mean, I can't wait. I'm yes. so excited because I've been able to. I mean, granted, I've seen like the high praise it's gotten. Yep. But for only being in a world where I, the only thing I've seen in that game is that first trailer <laughs> and I've seen nothing else. I have no idea what to expect, but I know it's going to be an awesome feeling because Grant, like I don't think I finished galaxy two yeah, or the first gal. Like it's been a while since I've given my time to some Mario and right. I feel like now's the time. Yeah. He's got a sweet little hat. Yeah. yeah. Cappy, whatever the hell it is. Good luck stopping yourself from playing that game. Yeah. Yeah. That's Good it. luck with and that. And that's why I'm glad, like again, I finished South Park, Fractured But Whole, finished Shadow of War, finished Wolfenstein, finished Assassin's Creed. I'm finishing all the big games, finished the campaign of Call of Duty. Yeah, yeah. So I'm finishing all those games it's, so I can invest a, the time that I want to. It's rocket and ray gun time, isn't it? It is. It's time to start <laughs> talking about this <laughs> it year. It feels like it is. Uh, it's very cool. Okay, well, we, we definitely have more to this conversation. Uh, one last question. John R. Martin uh, saying uh, – I liked your comment. It's really weird to think that more than 100 people are basically crowded into a hotel room with these two guys. It is very weird. All of this is very weird. This is what a weird world we live in. But then question, Jose, what are you doing now? Are you freelancing? Uh, yeah, I said yeah. earlier I'm just doing a lot of hosting for Twitch. Twitch is bringing me out to host some of their bigger events, and I'm streaming a lot. So if you follow me on Twitch, I think Blade Blur has dropped the link in chat a few times. Just Don underscore Fubar. Follow him on Twitch. Follow me on Twitch. I'll be yes. streaming all the time when I'm not in Vic's basement. And Tim, Whenever he lets me out. We will keep streaming. It is pretty crazy that we can set up a phone in a hotel room and just... Yeah, and the Wi-Fi is good enough. It's, it's nuts. But listen, thank you all very much for watching. And if you watch the archive of this later on, thank you for tuning in for that and checking that out. And uh, we love you. And thank you for your support. And we will see you very soon. It's all in the reflex. Actually, tomorrow for the rundown. Yeah. Have a good or at night, least everybody. In, or at least until Vic stops the video, because I'm just going <laughs> to. Yeah, I got to get up and stop the video. It's all in the reflex. There it is. Uh, he doesn't know how to stop it. Boom. <laughs>